What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy T to the Y. Back at another video. You know what I'm saying? I was at the track yesterday. Rode up there with uh, Ace Blizz, my, my man's Wayne. So y'all gonna see that video prior to this. Y'all probably seen it already. But uh, yeah, the next thing I'm doing on the car is the OU change. Y'all see in the thumbnail and title. I'm gonna do the OU change. All you really need is jack stand, three ton. Uh, I mean, I prefer three ton. I got a 1.5, but it's for my low car. So, you know, all you need is jack stands, a jack tool bag i mean i got more tools in the car as well but all you need is a uh i'm not I'm not sure what size of the boat i didn't jack it up yet and didn't take the thing off but i just want to make the video as of right now so all you need is seven quarts of oil you you need a uh, filter for your car too as well you need a oil you pan as well so to drain the oil you need this is probably at least i think 6.5 quarts of holes so i got seven quarts just to top it off a little bit Oh yeah, so this is a 2018 Dodge Charger RT Scat Pack. And we're gonna do the oil change on it as well. So I'm gonna jack the car up now, and then I'll be getting under the car, loosen everything, and that's it. And you will need mats too. I don't like being on my knees, so I use mats. And I'm preferably getting older, so I don't like this to mess up my knees. So we're gonna jack the car up. So there you go, car's up in the air. Make sure everything is safe. Jack got the support on that side. You always want to check it and push it. Give it a little push. And you good. Open there. Boom. Make sure I got that little pressure on there. Make sure it's not going nowhere. You always want to push it. You know what I'm saying? And underneath here, I'll show you guys. Under here, you got to take this whole panel off. So, well, you drain is under here, so you got to take all this off. You know, it's gonna be low sometimes. We hit. Just gotta be careful. Other than that, you're good to go. Just take this off, and I'll show y'all under the rest. All right, y'all. So I took the two tins off of that one. Just one, two more tins. Ten millimeter right here. So always keep your screws and stuff together too, as well. And I am doing it with a drill. But it's an adapter to it. Somebody took my impact when I had my last car. They stole everything from it. And that's not cool. So let's take that off. It's a shell plate. So you won't hit any sub frame or your oil pan. So the oil pan drain is here. I'm going to drain it. And the oil filter is right here. And this Mopar. I wanted to get another Mopar. But I got a K&M filter. So, so right here. It's probably, this bolt is probably... I say about fill at 13. That gotta be a 13 or 14. Yeah, orange bottom block. Let me get under here and uh sand some of that. I had a plastic bag head got under my exhaust. So I'm gonna sand that off while I'm under here, sand it down, get that off of there. And that's it. It's basically nothing, man. You do it yourself kit. It's a bolt right here. And that's the OU filter. All you gotta do is undrain that, undrain this. And do the oil cap up, up top. Ain't be good. Thank God the sun is coming out. You just take this out too, loosen it. I, I like to loosen mine. This this way. There you go. Crank it loose so that oil you still can go down. And then you will take some of this. I would take this off too, but right now I'm gonna do it later. My oil catch can. I'll take it off like that. I'm saying loosen it and then drain whatever's in there too as well. Get all that oil, oil. excuse me, oil, oil you out, you'll be good. I'm thinking about, I'm gonna go take my car for a car, get it a car wash after this, definitely, and then put it back in my spot over there. You know what I'm saying? Get it away from the trees. I barely park here. I used to though when it was before it started coming down, but I'm gonna park over here away from the trees. So I'm gonna get back to you. I'm about to drain it and I'm gonna show you all that. All right, y'all, we back. So it was a 13. And the dealership had this loose, so that shit was loose. Good thing I ain't lose no oil. But always screw it on. Show you how to clean it too as well. And always catch the oil. Right there. Gotta find a sweet spot, y'all. It ain't always a mess. Gotta know the sweet spot. Then all that bullshit out of there you know what i'm saying i'm gonna show you how to clean the oil drain plug too i'll wipe it off 
a little dirty rag and I clean it with some parts oil. Well, parts cleaner, clean it with that. Then I'll, all you gotta do is take the oil filter off. Tighten this back up. I'm gonna let all that drain out though. I like to smell mine. See what it's talking about, smell it. You know what I'm saying? This this nose know a lot. It's not too bad, ain't nothing. No medical metal part uh, particles. And you'll see. I think most of the OU drain uh, plugs come with like a metal, so you'll see if anything. And I don't beat on mine. It's about to be at 29,000 miles, and I got it at 21,000 miles. So you see what it's hitting for. Let the drain come up a little bit. It's starting to get. All the way halfway full, loose. And, uh, I'm gonna drain this into a, most of the cans I got right there. Drain it. I like to check on a lot of shit when I'm under here. Alright, drain it all out. Watch. Drain it out. Yes, sir. He said, did you just pee on me? <laughs> Cat Williams, what do you do? Water smell like ammonia in this bitch. Come on, there you go. One at a time, please. One at a time. Busy right now, working with a monster. You know what? Oh. 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 You pee on me. Wake your bitch ass up, Lucky Charms. If y'all ain't see Friday at the next, go watch that. A little dream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna order some breaks for this too. Get a break job done. Do wanna get some good suspension on there too, that would be nice. That'll be nice. Yeah. This container right here, all you dream pan, it holds up to seven quarts, so it'll be fine. It ain't even get all the way up to the top. I like to let that drain. Then I could just knock two, one in the head, and I could just take this off too and put this other one over here like this. And knock it out. So I don't have to be waiting that long. So I'll get right back to y'all. All right, y'all, we back. I could probably move this over a little bit. Let that catch the drip. And this is probably loose by hand. I really want to try something, though. I'll be back. I'm going to get some aluminum for you. I'm a big person. I don't like making messes. And I don't like cleaning up after that oil. So. Get some room for you. You know, dollar store or whatever. Come under here. Place it like that. So it won't get on your oil. You, oil you pan. Feel me? Y'all gotta work with me, man. Logging. Y'all gotta understand when YouTubers logging. Uh, where am I? Logging and working is hard. You know what I'm saying? But you got to give it to the people who try. So it's, it's a lot of work. Y'all don't understand. Some of y'all don't. It's a lot of work. I got to vlog, go up, edit. But I like it. Easy, tedious work. A lot of time I'm uploading the video that y'all already seen. Which is now was like a daily vlog for me. Let all that drain. I like to make my job easy. I don't want no oil you want anything. I like to use it like that. And then I can just turn it by hand. You feel me? I should start the leak. I can leave that like that. Shit. And don't get you some cheap aluminum for you. Get you some real deal aluminum for you. See, it's coming down now. And I knew it. But it's cool. I don't mind getting dirty. 
called Dirty Jobs. Uh, it's called Dirty Jobs. Wasn't that bad? I thought it was. Thought it would leak. Oh shit! Leaked on my nose. Uh, there we go. Let all that shit come out of there. Wipe your hands off. <laughs> Wipe your face off. Ah. Wipe your face off. <laughs> I'm good. It is. It is. Don't let that drain out. It's coming out of there. That's all that matters. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, wipe your hands, everything good. Go upstairs, use some fast orange, you know what I'm saying? Get that all that gunk off you. And I'm gonna show y'all how to clean the OU drain plug. So we're back, you got your OU drain plug here. Let all that other stuff come out. Get you some parts cleaner. All you do is hit it a couple times, clean it up, wipe it off. And you got a new, huh, Oh, your drain plug. It's not gonna work every time. You can always buy a new one of these, but ever since I've been doing it, my Mazda, Mustang, other cars I had, Volkswagen, it always really works for me. Let me tighten it down. Make sure no leaks when you fill it up, and you're good to go. Check your uh, oil, you, oil you, uh, pressure. I mean not pressure, but check the uh, the level of it. And you're good. See how clean that is? Clean. Let all that stuff drain out. You'll be good to go. Let all that drain out. You'll be good. Use some Luna for you. Get some better stuff than that. That's fairly cheap. But just let it drain. Let it all come out. All of it come out of there. That's all you gotta do. You feel me? Let it come out. Then you can wipe up. Clean everything else up. That's a Mopar filter too, from OEM. I got the K&M filter, but I wanted the Mopar, they didn't have any stock. So, I got the K&M. What's better than K&M? Mopar, though. All right, y'all. What you filter about to go on? I'm just wiping off access stuff. So you gotta do clean it up so it don't look all dirty. Get one of these two. It's called an OU pan wrench. You get one of those. Make sure it's tight too. A little bit. You don't gotta go too tight, but I like to make sure. It's snug. Cause you gotta know when you driving and shit, a lot of shit's turned to get loose. And you don't want this to get loose. And they got a they got a bolt on here, so you can use that too as well. It's part about swipe it down. Yeah, it's tight. Go on each side, make sure there ain't no leaks or nothing like that. Get that out your way. Each side, check if it's leaked. Like ball shit. Man, you good, man. I like to wipe it down. As I just said. You know what I'm so I know if I come under here and I see any leaks, I know it ain't before. It ain't gonna be no leaks. So you'll just take this, take your other tool, your 13 socket. Get your 13 socket and tighten it back down. It don't have to be fairly tight, but it has to be just right. I like to get on the hair, coming down a little bit. Boom, that's enough. And that's it, man. All you gotta do is fill it up now. Check the uh, check the level. Start it up, reset the button. I'm gonna show y'all that. And that's it. All I gotta do is put this thing back on. And I'm good from under here. All right, y'all, so now it's time to put the oil in it. 
That's the easy part. The easy part is putting the oil, everything else was the hard. I mean, it's not gonna say hard, it's easy to me. I've been doing it for a while, but you could just take a, a rag or something you want to put by it and pour it in there. Take it like this so you won't spill anything on it. But you can go sideways and just go easy and pour. And just pour. Let them sit like that and do that with each six and a half quarts. Just let them sit, let all the oil you get out of them. You know I'm saying you want your money's worth. This is that OW40 SRT motor oil right there. You see it. This is not cheap. You can order off Amazon. I mean, if you want, I'll put the link in the description if y'all want that. It's a box of six of them for $45. You know what I'm saying? I haven't ordered them off there, but I mean, I'm, that's my next move is to order them off there. I don't want to uh, go to, I went to Napa, but shout out to Napa. They gave me the right shit and it just was $90 and I wasn't, that was high as hell. But it cost money, man. It was like 118 or some shit like that for everything. The oil filter was $18 can and, and this was $90 for seven quarts. So I believe there was like $12 a bottle. But it happens if you want to go cheaper go on amazon and then wait them two three days for it to show up in your uh show up at your doorstep i like to get all all the oil you out i'm gonna get my money's worth i want every sip of that you know what i'm saying every sip every she wants everything she's thirsty she wants everything yeah she wants everything she wants everything and you can turn them around like that if you want to get some more I got y'all, I'm going to show y'all that uh, technique you can use too to get more oil out of bottles now just take your time and pour I usually pour sideways but I want to try a different method and they start to get real low you can hear it drinking it up too Right in there like that. Like that excess stuff all. Let it sit. Do that with each one. I'll show you how to method in a little bit. I'm gonna let I'm gonna do all this and I'll get right back to y'all. Alright y'all, so I'm gonna show you how to preserve preserve some OU. Show you how to preserve some OU. And if you want to really save some or, or get everything out of it, you can turn it upside down. Poke a hole in the top and then get everything out. Take them like this. If you, you still can hear it a little bit in there. Hear a little bit in there. You just poke a hole right here, squeeze the rest out. But I'm not gonna do that. But you can usually do it like that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna just pour half of this in there, check the level, and I'll be good to go. Covering that because right now where I live, it's a lot of leaves falling down, as y'all see on my damn window window show so put half of this in there yes sir uh, now I'm gonna go prime it and reset the light see probably do half and I'm gonna check the OU right now check where it's at let it go down all the way to the bottom of the pan we'll tighten that make sure you put your caps back on tighten it so you won't be spilling the OU you can do it like that. Save some, I mean, get all the oil if you want to. But I got seven quarts, so I should be fine. Should be fine. I'm gonna get y'all cold start in a minute, too. Just wanna check all the oil before we that. Yeah, I see that fresh oil on it. I see it. I see it, check your oil. Check the level. Let it sit for a little bit, give it like five seconds. I'm gonna go around the block too, because all these leaves gotta come off and I'm gonna repark my car. I just parked it over here so I won't be in nobody's way. 
truck to the level. And it's looking fine. Look at that. I don't know if y'all can see. I don't want to put no. It's right here. Right there. Say safe. And you could do it one or two times if you want. You like, I like to do twice or three times. Let the oil still go down to the pan. But if you put more than over six and a half quarts, you should be fine. But always check just to be aware. Check it three times. See, again, it came up to being safe right here. As y'all see. So we should be good. Wipe it off. If you don't know how to do your oil, man, this is how you do it. It's easy, it works on every car. Just make sure you get the right quartz and the right oil you what you want in your car. Make it, if you want to be going places, make sure you're going trips, anything like that. You want to be taking trips, long trips. Before you go to a trip, make sure you drain the oil. Make sure you drain all the oil out and fresh oil. That's a that's my key to things. When I'm going to travel, I make sure I have a fresh 100% oil. Now I could be on my way. By the time I leave from that spot where I'm going to travel, depending on how many hours, I would drain my oil again. If you don't want to do it while you're out there, if you don't got any tools or anything like that, get up a, a local mining key, Jiffy Lube, what's it called, Vaveline or Vaveline, whatever you want to call it. All them spots, you know. I'm not sponsored by them, but that's the spots I know of. So if you want to hit that up, then you can. And then keep it like that, man. We're gonna keep it rolling, keep it going. She should be good. I'm about to go check the inside right now. And then you can have this just in case it, you know what I mean? You wanna top it off if you're beating on it uh, later on in the day, whatever you wanna do. Let's go check the, check right now. I'm gonna put my hood down a little bit because the leaves and everything be gone. So we gonna put that down. Make sure everything is tight. Oil you was in there, boom. I took my uh, oil you catch can filter and i took it out and i drained it out into the old i'm gonna put it down a little bit i ain't going fully cut just want to make sure it's down and we're gonna go in here and reset the life we're gonna just uh, prime it up and priming it up you know what i'm saying i got some gas yesterday in new jersey you go here go all the way over to the left and you will see, well, I can close this door so it won't be in your ear like that. Close the door. As you all see, right there it says oil life, right? 28%, it say okay to reset. And I'm gonna go okay to reset. Hold it. Reset, hold it. 100% life. There you go. And then you can start it up, you know what I'm saying, if you want. And I'm going to give y'all a cold start, so I'll be... Shut the door. I can take my brake off since it's chilling now. But y'all see, it say 100% life right there. 100% life. Get y'all a little closer. 100% life. There you go. 100% life. That's how you do an OU change on the 2018 Dodge Chargers RT Scat Pack. It's fairly easy. It just it takes time, y'all. But at the end of the day, you get it done. Less cheaper than going to the dealership easier do it yourself learn a lot and more about cars as you see i can open the hood up it's good man you, know what I'm saying? you can let it run for a little bit let it get warm and then turn it off let it chill for a little bit and then check it again but other than that it's fine i checked it when it was cold started it up no problem we set the light it's all good to go you know what i'm saying make sure you check and make sure you got everything recommend it for the car and I can just close it now because it's all good to go running good let it warm up make sure your cool is good make sure your window uh, washer fluid is good everything American cars there you go uh, you can dispose all this stuff at your local uh, auto parts store I go 
put an auto zone so I'll dispose of all this stuff. You don't want to leave it with any pets or anything like that around. So it can make them, it can make them sick. You don't want to do that. So make sure you find your local auto zone or O'Reilly's, wherever you're next to, and then dispose all that. I got containers and I can put them in. So make sure you do that. Don't just pour it anywhere. And then just clean up all your stuff. Let her run for a little bit. And chance she's good to go. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe on T Wise Vlogs. I'm gonna catch you on the next video, man. Thank y'all for liking and subscribing. I appreciate everybody's support on the channel. And uh, there's more videos to come, man. We're gonna be going to the track soon. Shout out to Ace Blizz, my my boy Wayne. Shout out to all of them that came the other day. But we're gonna be doing some real shit, uh, some shit real soon. I'm bring the Mustang back out. I got a lot of work to do, a lot of shit that I need to. Uh, Get on my ground, back on my ground. So I'm gonna catch you on the next video. Scat Peasy, she's out of there. She's got a fresh oil change. I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Peace. You don't have nobody to step on the brake for you. That's what you do. I'm taking my wheel off because I dropped something in inside my bumper. So that's how you do it. <laughs> had to take my whole wheel off just to get this. Oh, excuse me. Just to get this, it came off my battery terminal. It clipped off, so it'll clip back on just like that, but it's gonna be loose, so I might as well take it off. Cause I pulled it like this and it, it had popped off. So I did all that just to get that back. Cause it fell on there.